It has been one of the most trading stories and most discussed stories today on social media. Hii ni story ambayo inamhusisha ambaye ni cousin wa kwake msanii wa nyimbo za mugidhi hapa nchini Kenya, Samuel Mushoki ama ukipenda Samido, akitambulikana na wengi kama Bani Saron ambaye anaishi kule nchini Marekani ila kwa sasa yupo hapa nchini Kenya ambapo alikuwa amefika nchini Kenya kwa hajili ya kuweza kutembelea familia yake ila kile ambacho kimekuwa kikiongelewa ni wengi kudai ya kwamba kuna asilimia fulani ya kwamba Bani Saron yupo katika mahusiano ya kimapenzi na moja kati ya comedians na pia radio presenters na media personalities hapa nchini Kenya Oga Obina e, acha tuzamie story yote nzima kuhusiana na haswa ni kipi ambacho kimekuwa kikiendelea pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii leo baada ya kile ambacho kilipata kupostiwa na blog moja tajika hapa nchini Kenya kama Ke, eh, Nairobi Gossip Club. The digital content creator and upcoming artist Ogao Bina has finally addressed the claims that he is that he is in a relationship or on an entanglement with his fellow content creator and business woman Bani Saron. Rumor mills started spinning noting the two were a thing. After Bunny's on a TikTok page posted a video of a hard totally clasped around the arms of a unidentified man of a dark complexion while enjoying a car ride. After a little digging, hawk-eyed netizen sleuths noticed that the faceless man happened to be donning a black watch and a ring that insanely resembled Obina's. She also posted a photo of her, of her enjoying breakfast next to the guy with the love ballad blasting in the background and fans went wild. Responding to the brewing stories Obina took to his page and posted a photo of his accessories noting that Vitu Fanana, I mean Vitu Fanana by the way, but easy, easy zinaka ni kanakwamba yo, Hey, it wambia. And you know Obina alikuwa amemhost Bunny Saron kwa kipindi chake na kwa channel ya kwake ya, ya YouTube hapo juzi. Now Obina argued that he wasn't the person in the trading photos noting that the, pa the said person was an imposter purporting to be him. Et pete na sai medu. Eh, that's what he asked. Started, uh, this started off Uh, the, the father of five while addressing the relationship rumors went ahead to deny that he is in an entanglement with Bunny Saron. He went on to note that the photos shared online were purely from an imposter who was so desperate to copy his swag and get stories spinning. The entertainer asked the said imposters to stop while making fun of the situations. Fans and netizens slilled were however unconvinced by his narrative following his highlighting He, uh, following him highlighting that the person who was not him even had an harm that completely resembled his. And we all know with media personalities, clout is always part of their agenda. Now he says, I know there are imposters out there trying to copy my style and so a guy stop. Yani mtu ametafuta pete na watch adi mkono ametafuta yenye inafanana na yangu. Surely guys stop it. The rest of is post red. Do you believe this narrative or there is more to the story? Uh, he has ordered a few Instagram users and to say in relationship to this. Kemadi Timo says mtu unyamaza pigwe gossip. Sasa hata umearibu. Me thinks it's all cloud you niko sure una inches za kuendesha hiyo gari guy. Enyo mtiga mani mwe neke yake mrade kana huko. Anastasia wadu di wadu time in not wadu di anasema watu sio wajinga bwana jojo shama anasema okinawa mbona unajikataya lemayan sayanka anasema ukishikwa shikamana uh, custom freeze anasema when very said hii baridi ni mbaya <laughs> ya mambo ndivo ya livo and these are among the trading stories in town jani kuulize unadhani obina na bani saron wapo katika mahusiano ya kimapenzi uh, question that i leave to you to answer for now that's what's up make sure una subscribe dani ya fm show ke tuungane kwa video zetu zijazo